Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now all the Alpha Destiny fanboys are storming my channel, crying and whining. Oh my God, Alpha Wolf! What do you think about Alpha Destiny with his with his rag pull with the 605 pounds? Oh yeah, yeah, he did it. Listen, people. <laughs> Let me shut you all down right here, right now. People have been blasting gear in the fitness industry, claiming natural since day one. Since day one. So when you fanboys, and you foolish, nut-hugging, illiterate fiends ask me something so stupid as to what I think about a lift in this industry full of gear usage, growth hormone, testosterone, come on, deca trend. Trend bologna, sandwiches, all in this whole industry. <laughs> you little crybabies need to realize one thing. See, I might have been born yesterday, but not last night. Alright? So, just because you're easily fooled, easily duped, that shit doesn't work on me. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, people. When you can see a Phil Heath interview and he's on the panel, we all seen that interview. He could sit there and pretend like he's a natural athlete, knowing damn well the world knows that there is no way humanly possible to get that freaking big. And to then say, well, you know, my genetics were always, you know, superior during high school. And to try to make people believe that he just lifted weights with such a vigorous amount of effort that his muscles just grew to the size bigger than those in the steroid era of the Arnold era. So you mean to tell me that he had more intensity and more willpower? And did he use one of those conjugate congruent whatever the fuck <laughs> training splits that these guys try to promote did he use a, a linear progression training <laughs> get the fuck come on it's called fooling the fools now those of us in society who have common sense we don't fall for that shit no we don't but those those Hundreds upon hundreds upon thousands of D-Riders. I looked at the comment section in that video and I see nut after nut. It's like these guys were latching on to pubic hairs for dear life. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. You're the man. You're awesome. You're on gear. Idiots. Wake up. <laughs> Allegedly. But common sense should uh, somehow manifest itself at some point in all of your lives. Hopefully it does, because if you're expected to live, what, 60 years ma max in this McDonald's era, in this Pop-Tarts, if it fits your macros, processed food era, and you're expected to just coast through all of this, not only poison by by the food and the steroids and everything that's promoted in this fitness industry but the coast through it stupidly <laughs> stupidly it's one thing to have a bad diet and listen to these idiots tell you this that and the third but then to be so stupid i look to my left i look to my right and all i see is fools listen Hook grip or no hook grip, who gives a shit? I watch guys from overseas do these jerk and clean or clean and jerks <laughs> over and over with these heavy poundages. 
and none of them are natural. In the Olympics, these guys are the, the top of the line in the Olympics in the world. And none of them are natural. Yet somehow this this guy gets on the internet and does a lift that supposedly very few people can do. And you got and, and common sense doesn't in the back of your mind, it doesn't say, you know, um, maybe there might be something, uh, I don't know, I don't know, you, you people are, um, beyond redemption, <laughs> beyond, I, I watched the video, now, if this was advertised as, you know, not a natural thing, if he didn't claim that he was natural, then I would say, okay, he's just like all the rest of the guys who are allegedly doing these extracurricular activities with these dosages, okay? Then there's nothing special about that. I've said it before, all these people at these powerlifting meets, I saw an interview with two females, and the girl was saying, oh yeah, you know, drug usage, and how she took all this, that, and the third, and how it helped her reach her lifts. Come on, it's, it's right in front of your eyes. It's like if I was saying, hey, grab that that big thing right there on the table. It's right there. You see it? That right there. Grab that. And you're like, I can't see it. Where? I'm like, that shit right there. <laughs> it's standing right there. That right there. Grab that. I don't see it. You don't see it because you're stupid. <laughs> Bottom line, people. Wake up. Wake up. Not all of you are dumb now. There are a few people out there like me who aren't illiterate and they can read between the lines but the majority of you guys huh, judging by that comment section holy shit it was just it was like the fanboys came out in droves so if you were to ask me do I think that lift was natural or not I'm gonna say I believe that lift was not natural at all there was definitely, in my opinion, some extracurricular activities attributing to that lift. You know why I say that? Because that's what this industry is. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to put my opinion out there. You guys feel free to continue to swing from the pubes like Tarzan in the jungle. If that's what you want to do, you want to be stupid, hey, by all means, be it. So with all that said, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work. Muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes, my lyrics is